What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know, my name is Steven Marmalejos and we're here at Archangel Fabrication where we specialize in turbo systems, any kind of fabrication, automotive really. Uh, here behind us is our next project. It's a Civic EG hatchback, as you guys can see. And it does have a K-series platform. We're gonna be building the entire kit for including weight plate, intercooler, radiator, up pipes, piping, catch can, anything you really need for the fabrication side of things. So right now what I'm doing is prepping the turbo housing for a, a clamp. We're gonna be using the vibrant quick release clamps. This side's gonna be two and a half inch. And the inlet here is actually two inch so I need a reducer from two inch to two and a half and here we're gonna have a 90 mil throttle body we're gonna neck it down to three and a half inch Here's his K-tuned throttle body. It's a 90 mil. There's an adapter piece that goes onto it. And I'll be welding on this three and a half inch to four inch reducer to fit the vibrant clamp here. If you guys seen my previous videos, I explained these a little bit. Plenty of flexibility. So I'll be welding it, something like that. All right, so now that I got this started out, I'm still waiting on the weight plate. Uh, my laser guy is getting that cut out, and that's usually what I put the intercooler on to start the piping. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm gonna start on the up pipes. He'll be using three to four inch off the turbo, and then 60 mil for this big old wastegate he's got. They'll both be coming out the hood on this side, and I'm gonna do teardrop designs. Uh, you guys have seen that before. I'm gonna do that again. I think they look pretty clean. Got the dump tube all tacked up, ready to be welded. Gonna try to do the same thing with the three inch up pipe, which will be necking up to four inch. So it should look pretty good once it's done. So here's what the up pipes look like together, both teardrops. This is four inch, like I said, and here I'm gonna be putting 202 sensors, 202 bungs. Um, sometimes tuners like to plug in their own wideband, so it's a nice option just to have the extra one with the plug. And if you need to utilize it, you always just take that plug out and use it. So it looks good, I think. Just gotta cut the hood and make a ring plate for it. The up pipe swelled it out, and I've been working on cutting a hole in the hood for it. So now the hood closes, and I've been working on this ring plate also. Should sit somewhere around there. And the customer wants it painted black with the aluminum rivets, which I personally like as well. So I prepped it. Drilled all my holes and I'm getting ready to primer and paint it. So next step I'm gonna do is a catch can. This one's also gonna get a catch can overflow combo. I'm thinking this area right here, right behind the driver headlight. And from the from the head I do have to make a swirl pot for the overflow. And 
another step I need to do with this car is install these PCI side skirts right here. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. Should be a pretty quick install. Three mounting brackets with two holes each I gotta drill. Not really gonna show the process. I'll just show you what it looks like afterwards. Got the side skirts installed. That's how they look. I'm a fan of them, I like them. Also got the ring plate riveted onto the car. Just like that. Painted it black with aluminum rivets. Yeah. Next up, still waiting on the weight plate. That way I can do the intercooler and piping. So we finally got the weight plate in. And just by looking at it and test fitting it, I think it's going to work pretty nice. So just going to prep this K2 traction bar, prep it for welding, and I'll, I'll run some beads across top and bottom. As you guys just saw, I got the weight plate all welded up, top and bottom. And now I have a good platform to start the intercooler. So that's what I'm getting at now to continue on with the charge piping. And also welded up this trans brace. It's a tranny mount that DP Race Parts offers. And I made this tab to connect to it. Kind of helps the engine from any movement. It's a nice little piece. Sorry, K2 traction bar. I ground that up and welded it, but the weight plate is on. Got this intercooler welded up last night and I taped it up just to protect it a little. I'm gonna be mounting it up. I'm thinking about making some kind of mounts off each side since this core is you know strong. I try not to mount tabs off the end tanks, that way it can never rip off. So be doing a bung here on each side and some kind of bracket down to the weight plate. Should be nice and sturdy. And then I can get started on the intercooler piping. But I'm gonna hold off on welding it just because we're gonna be making a rad support bar for this. And I just wanna make sure everything clears nice. So just finished mounting up the intercooler. Just made this tab here. The little gusset, make sure it's nice and strong. It is nice and sturdy. So. That's what it looks like, and then now I can start the charge pipes. Nice and short, back door. Here's where it all looks like, hooked up. Got the blow valve flange welded on. The tile blow valve, 50 mil. Got the vibrant clamps, vibrant HD clamps. So next up, I'm just waiting on the radiator core that should be here today. 
And once I do that, just have to plumb up some fuel lines and oil catch can lines, and it should be ready to go. What I'm doing now is getting ready to remove the factory upper radiator support, which is this piece right here, holds the headlights. And here's the bar that me and Ryan bent up. So I got the rad bar welded out and mounted onto the car. These are nice and simple because there's just this bolt here, one on each side. And the factory fender well here is threaded. So you can use the same bolts. I'm happy with it. It's a good fitment. And I added this tab to the intercooler, which is mounted to the weight plate. So it's nice and sturdy, won't, won't even budge. And I got bolt, just two bolts for the bumper that should be plenty to support it. And as well as the quick buttons I'll be installing. I have to make some kind of brackets here. Still waiting on the radiator core, should be here this afternoon. And I'll get that welded out. Got some fans for it. And it's about ready after that. All right, it's another day and got the radiator core in. So I uh, just finished up building the end tanks. Just have to put them together and weld them out. Drill my holes for the inlet and outlets and then weld it onto the core. After that, uh, fan stroud. They'll be having two 10 inch fans. So it should be plenty to keep it cool. Alright guys, I started the fuel system. Uh, we're doing AN lines from Vibrant Performance, fittings and lines. Here's your fuel pressure regulator I mounted to the firewall. The return going down under the car there. And the feed will be coming right here. Straight under the car all the way to the back of the tank that is sumped. So here we have the finished product. Got everything plumbed up, mounted the way it's gonna be. Got the bumper mounted. He is on his way to pick it up. I appreciate those who watched this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe for some future videos. Thanks.